Nobody ever accused me of talk, not talking enough. But what John said, uh, Marvis said, uh, fachaded. That means head spinning. Um, Morris, I want to thank you, and everyone wants to thank you, and I know how proud Ruth was and how your family has to be proud of you and your friends for all you've done. I have a question. If someone appeared at your front door and was having a seizure or a heart attack, what would you do? Obviously, the first thing would be Call 911, get professional emergency help. We would not close the door on them and be able to go into our homes feeling good. Our first response would be to help. Why? We know it's the right thing to do. Yet, when it comes to homelessness, we individually do not react the same way. But Sister Mary does time and time again. For the last 30 years that I know her as a wonderful, caring person that has dedicated her life to help and prevent homelessness. She has faced adversity in the face year after year, fighting to save and improve the lives of those in need by providing every necessary step to lead them to independence and living in their own home. We are so proud, my wife and I, we've been going together since she's 15, and, I am, and I'm just in love with you, babe. <laughs> And my wife's competitor is this other woman I love. <laughs> that, that was impromptu, by the way. <laughs> we are so proud to be associated with Sister Mary and Project Home. She has helped us fulfill our need to help those in need. We are not home until we are all at home. I want to introduce you to Nancy Twyman, director of the Eastern Region PHFA. And thank you, and I love you. <laughs>